guys are here. Cool. Yeah. So first and foremost, let's hear how you feel about your own performance tonight. No, it was, it was good. Um, this is the first time I've ever went to a decision, so uh, it's good to, to really test myself and, and see, you know, the awful uh, cardio feeling, it going past the second round, you know. Um, it's overrated. Uh, from now on, I'm going to try to finish it before it gets there, but, you know, it just proves how, how tough Nam Fan is. Uh, I knew in the first round I, I was trying to knock him out with everything I had, and, uh, you know, I just looked in his eyes and, and saw that there's, there's no give up in him, so I knew I would have to reserve some energy for the second in the third round. So yeah, that was kind of a fight that you expected with him? Uh, absolutely. I mean, anyone that ever saw Nam Fan fight know that uh, the main thing he does is heart. You know, he, you know, if, if he fought a bull, he would probably stand in front of him and the bull would get tired, you know. Um, so in the training camp, you know, I had a fresh guy every five minutes and not just any guy, you know, Frank Edgar, you know, Tom DeBlas, Chris McRae, you know, bigger, heavier guys. So uh, when I get in there and actually go with another 145 pounder, it almost feels like cheating, you know. Mm -hmm. This was one of your first fights that you actually didn't go to the finish, and the first one that you've been to the third round in. What was that experience like for you, working the stamina and like really hanging in there throughout the fight to get through the third round? Real overrated, you know. Uh, it, it, it's uh, it's not a good feeling, you know. But uh, it, it's not my choice, you know. I, I just try to finish the fight, keep him going forward, and uh, like I said, Nam's one of the toughest guys, you know. Not only I've had the privilege of fighting, but that I've seen even so. Uh, Thank God for, you know, Brian Blue back in Tom's River, New Jersey, you know, making me cry every day at strength and conditioning. Is it time to get your black belt now? Is that what... You know, uh, I, I'm not really complaining. You know, you can't really carry the belt in you in the cage. Um, I just like jiu-jitsu because it prevents me from getting beaten up. So uh, whatever color belt I am doesn't really matter to me. You said you were training a lot with Frankie. What is specifically did he sort of show you or demo or help you with in leading up to this fight? You know, the biggest thing I learned from Frankie Edgar is nothing physical, um, no, no special technique, is uh, just his heart. You know, every practice he trains to failure, and uh, there's just no quitting him. Uh, so that attitude definitely rubbed off on me. Uh, you know, just it just makes me want to go in there and train harder. Uh, just not just in, in MMA, but in strength and conditioning, everything. So uh, I really want to thank him for that. And uh, you know, Chris McRae is one of the strongest people I've ever grappled with. You know, so uh, just training grappling with him. He's been working on my wrestling a lot. So when I got in there and uh, clinched Nam, you know, it 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 was just effortless. Jimmy, he said uh, after the between the second and third round. Chris McRae said, all right, it's you and me rolling. It's the fourth round, whatever it is, and it's going to be happy, uh, happy New Year's. Let's get this over with. It sounded like you rehearsed that. I mean, is that something you remember him saying to you? And what, what was going through your head there? You know, what's funny is um, my first fight against Bruce Leroy, when uh, Chris was in the corner, you know, uh, I was on bottom lot going for submissions. And uh, I don't know if you get the audio track to that, but uh, he, he was telling me, get up, you look like a girl down there, you know, stuff like that. So, you know, I told him this training camp, I'm like, you know, why don't you tell me something positive this time? You know, don't just yell at me. So uh, this time, you know, he was a little bit more optimistic. And, uh, you know, uh, I, he saw the look in my eyes, you know, there, there was a, I was a little bit tired. And, uh, you know, he, he mentally won't let you get there. He won't let you quit on yourself. So he knows, you know, we trained a lot. I've known him for years. So he knows what to say to get me motivated and get out there and fight. Don't want to rain on your great night, but you did look a little tired in the second round. Did you, did you punch yourself out a little bit in the first round? Yeah, absolutely. And, um, you know, I, I watch UFC a lot, and, and it was strange, but the, the Shane Carwin Brock Lesnar fight just flashed in my head. And, you know, I'm just like, you better save some because, you know, he's not going to quit, and, and you don't want to punch yourself out. Were you surprised at his jaw? Because you, you were very accurate in that ground and pound. You hit him maybe seven or times in a row really hard, and didn't seem to phase him that much. No, um, I'm, I'm glad you guys saw it too because, uh, yeah, I was trying to finish him. Uh, it was just he's, he's a tough son of a bitch, you know. There's nothing I could do about it. Great fight, bro. Thank you very much. Is it a little bit surreal with you, with your age and just being, you know, 10 and 0 here in the UFC and, and climbing the ranks? You know. Uh, uh, just going into the spa yesterday to, to, to cut weight, the lady wouldn't let me in because she said I didn't look like I was 18. Uh, so, you know, uh, I have the, the nickname The Kid for a reason. I look real young. You know, even fighters backstage that don't know who I am, they look around and see if someone left their kid back there, you know. So, I mean, I, for my age and everything like that, I just like and enjoy the sport. You know, I love jiu-jitsu, wrestling, uh, boxing, all of that. So, uh, it, it's not really a job for me. It's, it's I don't really... Um, categorize myself. So I just like to go in there and have fun. Are there any